Long ago, in a remote corner of the world, ancient astronauts landed from a distant planet with a gift for mankind, the Phoenix. For a thousand years, he has waited, suspended in time. Now, he's awakened to complete his mission. He searches for his partner, Mira, for only she knows his ultimate assignment on Earth. Dependent on the sun for his strength and survival, endowed with a superior intelligence, he has fully developed the powers of the human mind. Relentlessly pursued by those who seek to control him, he must stay free. name for a game. Yeah. What happens when you get over 6,800 points? Are you kidding? Nobody could do that. You know where I can get a map around here? Yeah, the newsstand. Start over there. Well, good luck. I need a map of the local area here. Well, what kind are you looking for? No, something that shows the old Indian sites. Uh-huh. Is that what you're looking for? Yes, uh, thank you. Welcome. Dang, it's over. Maybe you push too hard. Why don't you try it again? I'm tapped out. You what? I don't have any more quarters. You mind if I try? You ever played before? No. It's a free country. The timing was probably off. Yeah, sure. coordination. You just gotta become the machine. Do it again. Show me how you did it. I'm sorry, I gotta go. Five free games. And they're all yours, guys. Thanks a lot. I'll go first. I missed him in New Mexico. Indians of the woodlands. We know he was there, looking at Indian Peak. And then he turns up in Mississippi at the Poverty Point Octagon. 
Drove an old chief half crazy with stories of uh, fiery chariots from the heavens. He's working his way up the Mississippi Valley. And sooner or later, he's going to end up here in St. Louis. I'm betting on sooner. So you're the agency's resident expert on Indian history. Officially? I'm on a leave of absence. And unofficially? <sighs> the agency is paying all the bills. Harry doesn't want the media speculating on the possibility of an ancient astronaut running around loose. You don't like it? Not the same. Mom made it better. Wonder if I should go after her. You'd better let her work it out for herself. trail it it just left when I came by that's all because he told it to he did something to make it stop biting me and then told it to go away it was wonderful I don't know what happened here but it sure changed my daughter's attitude I'm Harry Cartwright Benu uh, thanks for doing whatever you did L look we're having some food back there uh, you like to join us uh, yes thank you hey where are you going it's She's a lovely child. Yes, yes, she is. She lost her mother three months ago. You got uh, family? I haven't seen them for a long time, but yeah. It's really true. It's really true. He talks in snakes. You don't believe me, Ash? This is my oldest daughter, Ellie. This is Benny, magician. Hi. It's Benu. Benu? I like that better. All about the Hopewell Indians. They lived around here about a thousand years ago. They built a lot of burial mounds. I never eat on plane. Do you want something to eat? No, thanks. Benno's partner was buried in one of these Indian sites that was active in the 11th century. He's still alive? And he and she. And I think Benno's coming here to look for her in one of those burial mounds out there. Well, I hope you have plenty of time. Why? Well, there's over 100 of them outside East St. Louis and another 70 or 80 scattered around the west side. They buried a lot of Indians. First time I've seen Jan laugh since Helen died. I really appreciate this, you know. You're doing me a favor. Well, the Ritz, it's not. But 
that it's comfortable. We can always use a strong young fellow at the construction site. That's if money's any problem. Uh, yes, that would be uh, just great. I'll call you when dinner's ready. Okay, thanks a lot. I think your man's been spotted. Where? At the bus depot. Reliable witnesses? Now, some kids playing a video game machine. Tall, blonde guy wearing jeans doubled the all-time record on one of the machines. I don't appreciate the significance, but it really wiped out the kids. One of them's the son of a patrolman. Was he coming or going? Well, they saw him go over to the newsstand after that. Who knows? Let's go. Okay, let's see. Uh, Jan. Sorry. For what we're about to receive, may the Lord make us truly grateful. Amen. 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 We try to keep the old values here. You come from a religious home? Yes, very. We have nothing more to say to each other, Dave. Please don't come around. Your father sent for me. He may like to dream, but you know better. It's over. I'm seeing a lawyer tomorrow. It's not over for me, Ellie. He's in the kitchen. for a couple of days. Hello. His name's Benu, Daddy. Well, uh, Dave and I have a few things to talk over, so why don't uh, you and Benu finish your dinner, hmm? Yuck. Don't you like him? About midday, you saw something to a man, middle 20s, six foot four, blonde hair, blue eyes. Rather unusual looking individual. Who looks? They come, they go. The blur. This one you would have noticed. I mind my own business. Which I see is licensed by the city. What did he buy? A map. Of what? You got a warrant. What is this? Don't force me to be unpleasant. Yeah, I bet you could be. He bought a map of the Indian site. Looks like you were right. How many sites are there? Hey. Well, I'll have to recruit the local help. Get on to the chief of police. Well, he sure seems to have a one-track mind. So do I, Mr. Ray. So do I.
bedtime, young lady. Do I have to? Yes, you have to. Now, give me a kiss goodnight. I'm going to stay downstairs with Benno for a few minutes. Mm. Well, I've got a pretty good idea. Ellie is my flesh and blood, but Dave is... The happiest day of my life is when those two got married. I was just a general contractor repairing walls until I went to Dave for some advice, and... he created all this. Now I'm finishing the Cartwright building. We haven't had a crossword in seven years. He's like a brother. Loyal as a man can be. $49,900, $50,000. So when do you want it done? As soon as possible. By this time tomorrow, the Cartwright building be a pile of ash. I don't want anybody hurt. An empty building. The only ones who will suffer will be the insurance. Trust me. Got to use one of these. There she is. Isn't she a beauty? She certainly is. You take the hoist in the back up to the penthouse level. The foreman's name is Fred Barford. Now, what is this, a restaurant? Huh? Come on, get back to work here. What are you staring at? I got a problem. Oh, what am I, a priest? My boy got busted for possession. Now, he's only 20 years old, so I you thought... You got a man... point, get to it. Uh, uh, you, uh, your brother is a detective, right? So I thought maybe he could... He's there to a fool alone. That's a bandit. Okay, I'll speak to him. He will? Thank you, Fred. I won't forget it. I won't forget it. Well, what are you standing there for? We got a schedule here, haven't we? We got a schedule. Go! I'm gone. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Louie, give me some more slack, do we? You know where I could find Fred Barford? Yeah, hey, he's over there. Can't miss him. Hey, hello, beautiful. <laughs> Come here. Who are you? Mr. Cartwright told me to see you about a job. The union? He said something about cleanup. You ever worked construction before? No. What's your name? Benu. What kind of name is that? I don't care who you know. Up here, the pecking order goes like this. I'm the boss. All dues-paying union members come next, followed by stray dogs, rats, cats, and pigeons. After that, a long way after that, come the cleanup man. You got it? All right, for starters, ship that pile of junk over there. Where to? Where to? Do I look like I want it in the air conditioning shaft? <laughs> There's a garbage container at street level, Sonny. Don't ask me where. Find it. Get rid of that cat. I had a man fall 20 stories once stumbling over a stray. Oh, what are you standing around for, huh? Come on, move it! You don't know for sure he's here. You don't want to issue an APB. You don't want to give me a photograph. I don't have one. What the hell do you want me to do, then? I expect your department to keep me informed. 
Now, Benno's not the sort of man who's just going to vanish into the woodwork. I simply want you to tell your people to keep their ears and their eyes open. And what am I supposed to do if we spot him? Call me. We'll take it from there. I just can't spare the men. Who's going to direct traffic? The FBI? I'm not asking for men. I'm asking for information. I don't have time for fairy tales. Nor do I, Chief. Frank. Can you tell me when we break for lunch? Twelve to one. Well, there's somewhere I have to go, and I don't know if I can be back in an hour. He doesn't know if he can be back in an hour. Listen, fella, unless Cartwright has got you on his own personal welfare roll, you're here to do a job. You'll be back on the dot same as the rest of us, or you're fired. Hey, you. I told you to get that vermin off my... Who the hell do you think you are, punk? She's pregnant. No, I don't want you to hurt her. Hey, guys, gather around. We got St. Francis of Assisi here. <laughs> Understand one thing, Sonny. You're lower than the trash you're shoveling. I don't care who you know. Up here, you're nothing. I said don't. Who do you think you are talking to me like that? Well, maybe now you remember. Barford is a real jerk. Dad should have gotten rid of him a long time ago, but he can't seem to fire anybody. Fred definitely has a problem dealing with people. Do you know how many burial mounds there are around St. Louis? <sighs> Too many. You know, if you're really into that kind of thing, you should go visit our museum. Well, we've got an Indian curator who knows where all the bodies are buried. Thanks, I will. Uh, I'm not exactly dressed for a hike in the woods. You just wait here. I'll only be a few minutes. with you. Can't you read? The animals are protected in this park. Well, now, who are you? Game warden. Ain't none of your damn business. You almost shot me. That makes it my business. I don't know what your thing is. Just stay out of my way. All right. Give me the rifle. <laughs> Why don't you just come on over here and try and take it away from me? Why don't you just turn around? 
and get back where you came from before you come a statistic. I'm all right. What happened? Where'd you get the gun? That, uh, sportsman. They must have thought I was a game warden or something. Over here for a drink? Sure, what's up? And a casual laborer might interest you. Six foot four, blonde, blue eyes. Something unreal about him. Like what? He just lifted me five foot with one punch. Muhammad Ali couldn't do that. Now, you've been drinking? Not yet, but I'm gonna. All right, I'll check him out. I've seen something like it, but not exactly that symbol. Have you seen any on the walls at the Hopewell burial mounds? Some. Which ones? Why is it so important for you to know? I'm looking for something. Every white man who has ever exploited our people has been looking for something. Well, I wouldn't know about that. Our burial mounds and sacred places have been desecrated enough. Look, I don't want anything that belongs to you. I want something that belongs to me. This is really important to you, isn't it? You might trek your hokey. I'm not sure you'll find that. But if it's in this part of the country, you'd find it there. Thanks. Good luck to you. It was one of the pieces of music that NASA put on the Voyager spaceship. A uh, gift of appreciation from mankind to the universe. They sent a message with it. It said, greetings from Earthlings to anyone out there. This is our best music. If you want your divorce so much, why are you unhappy now? What's my father told you about Dave and me? Mm, nothing much. I thought I loved him. He was much older, sort of glamorous and successful. I was 19. What did I know about love? Dad loved him. He was the perfect son-in-law. That's enough about me. You're the intriguing one. Well, the unknown is always... More interesting at first.
How about some more tea? Okay. Where'd you come from? A long, long way away. Will you go back? Home? Someday. I hope so. And until then, you just drift around, huh? I'm looking for someone. A woman? Yes, but not like that. We're partners in something. We're involved. And, well, I've lost her. You think Dave's cheating your father, don't you? How did you know that? It's, it's just a feeling I've had. You mean I'm that easy to read? No. I'd come into a room and Dave would be saying something on the phone, clam up when he saw me. When I asked him about it, he'd just get angry and accuse me of spying on him. But I've got this terrible feeling. It's pushing my dad into something awful. Why don't you go down to the office and check the books yourself? No. Right now. It was very nice of your father to give me that job. Yeah. I just hope I'm wrong about Dave. You know, my father. He's worked so hard to get where he is. This place gives me the creeps at night. Good evening. You want me to follow you? All right. Ellie, I'll be right back. You should be proud. They are beautiful. Okay. You want a view? There you go. Yes. You're right. It's a fire.
Kelly. Kelly, you all right? Ellie? Ellie, talk to me. What were you doing in there? Anyone else inside? No. Hey, hey, stop him! Hey, stop him! Hey, hey, stop him! Hey, buddy! I don't know. Some guy just ran back in there. What guy? Oh, a big, tall, blonde guy. Yeah, long hair. Are you sure? I hate... I hate St. Louis. There's a fire at the Cartwright construction site. A tall guy with long blonde hair just broke through the barricade and ran into the building. Benno. Forced to be married to a doctor. <laughs> Come on, baby. <laughs> what were you doing in there? I checked the files. Yeah. Hardly any of the leases have been sold. <laughs> I don't understand. What is she saying, Dave? I tried to tell you. Talk to me, Dave. I couldn't face it. We're broke, Carrie. We're wiped out. I didn't want you to know, so I went for the insurance. Hey. Hey. Dad, no. I thought the place was empty. I didn't want to hurt anyone, especially. You're right, baby. You're right. Ellie, I'm sorry. Look, driver, just go on through. Go ahead. Love to, sir, but look. Oh, my God, look what, look what you've done, mister. Oh, God, I can't believe you. Does anyone know a little girl who would like to give these beauties a home? You went back in there for a cat? What were you doing in the building? Who are you? In the police. He saved my life. This belongs to the man who set the fire. You'll be able to find him on the fingerprints. You think Jan will like him? Oh, I'm sure she will. About Dave. Unfortunately. Trust your instincts. Always. I will. You know what this means, Ellie? Starting all over again. I'm 
sometimes it's good to have to start over again. This is your chance to learn from your mistakes. Isn't that right, Benno? Looking for something, fella? Yeah, I was. Used to be that the only one around here was me, but now all kinds of people got these detectors. What are you looking for? Nard Indian junk. It's a regular lover's lane, this place. <laughs> you never believe some of the stuff they lose. One lady on a horse dropped a $10,000 necklace. I aim to pick up the reward. Most people would just take the necklace and run. Got two things going for me. My pension and my pride. Well, good luck. Why don't you uh, try up there under that tree? She was on a horse, not a helicopter. <laughs> sci-fi's best loved adventures go back in time with the cast of lost in space for an exclusive two-hour look at Irwin allen's spectacular creations the fantasy worlds of Irwin allen saturday at 8 p.m 5 pacific now stay tuned for another classic chiller hitchcock presents next